Good morning and welcome to another sunny day in Winnipeg. Yeah, okay. I am not going to say today we're going to turn the page because it seems that every time I say that it doesn't happen. So uh, yeah, I'm not going to say we're going to turn the page and get to the next step. I'm just going to go ahead. We're going to put on the macro lens here and uh, uh, move in a little bit. We, we won't move in as, all the way. The, I think this is about as the closest I can get. We'll, we'll be back a little bit, but just it'll still be a lot more visible than what you got there. And we'll try and uh, try and get these uh, things painted here. And uh, I'm going to do the I'm going to do the railing in the 66. I will probably do the the lighter. The, the lights themselves I'll probably do in the 19 and uh, then maybe silver on the end of it to give the illusion of a, of a lens. Uh, at least that's the plan right now. We'll see how it goes. So let's, let's just get right into it here. Oh, the, the sunrise this morning? Uh, it, it, it wasn't bad. It wasn't bad. I haven't uh, processed it yet so I don't know how well, how good it's going to look. I did happen to just catch the uh, our, our walker friends coming through. Uh, they went through, I think it was around 7.32 or something like that. I just happened to notice the time. Uh, I, I, don't, I don't sit here watching the monitors. Something has to catch my eye for me to look at it, like some kind of movement or something like that. Or maybe I hear a noise outside and I think, what's that? And I'll, I'll, I'll look over at the monitor and, and, uh, and to see what it is, you know, just curiosity. Uh, I've got better things to do, like this. Uh, <laughs> okay, uh, all being well, my helmet should be coming today. So that will likely mean that we'll be having a uh, our first bike ride uh, tomorrow, all being well. Anyway, we'll, we'll talk about that a little later. Uh, <clears throat> yeah, let's, let's just recompose here. Uh, shake up my 66 and uh, uh, get at it. Okay, now the way we're visualizing these right now is that basically the way we're going to see them. Uh, this will be the front and back here will be the back where nobody sees. So I'm going to do most of my painting from the front side and if it I missed the back. Well, that's the way it goes, and and I realized that right right here, and right here, where the tweezer is holding on, we're going to have to maybe do something about that later, but that'll just be that one little corner, which probably is going to get touched up with 77 anyway. Um, you know, when I sort of touch up the deck to cover the the glue. At least that's the plan. I know I keeps I keep saying that, and then I. I think possibly there's a lot of times I forget to actually do it. Um, anyway. Now, oh, what would be the best way here? Uh, well, I'll do, I'll do this. Just sort of get rid of the photo edge glint and being as we're going to be painting the light something different to sort of get the paint to wrap around the rail if I can. I know it, 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 it looks really thick, but once it dries, there's less of a chance of photo edge showing. Now this is just the way I do it. As I mentioned before, our friend Gabe here in Winnipeg is much better at this sort of thing. Okay, now 
yeah, it, it, it may be that there's photo etch showing on the back here. But we, we can't see that anyway. I'll, I'll just give it a little touch up here, so, sort of. Okay, let's do the other one. Maybe I'm going to just recompose a little bit for the other one. Okay, I think my brush is plenty saturated here. Now, I don't want to be painting the light with the 66 if I'm going to be using the 19 later. Unless maybe the 77. I want it to contrast with... You know, I think probably the light should be the... the, the uh, 19 because I want it to sh I want it to really show up good if it's dark it's not going to really show up so there's no use uh, plugging up all the detail with with 66 here if you're going to be painting it something else later Now, once again, we're not going to be seeing it from the back side here anyway. Just, I'm just sort of helping the, the paint to wrap around the... Kind of shaky here this morning. Well, you'd be shaking too if you thought you had to go and ride a scooter for the first time. Okay. All right. Let's let's just uh, let that dry now. And I, I know that where the joints are, it looks kind of globby, but I think that that will actually shrink, and it, it'll be okay. It'll look like a a weld. <laughs> yeah, that's that's it. It's a weld. Okay. We'll let that dry, and then we'll do our lights in the 19 and then some kind of silver on the front here. Okay, I'm using the helping hands sort of as a steady rest here. And this is our 19. Maybe I'll move that so it doesn't spoil the background. Now this is our thinned version of the 19. And it's going to almost look like we're not really putting anything on. Because it's the same color as the plastic. Now I don't want to get on the railing. Probably I am. Okay, now we'll see if we can turn it here a quarter of a turn. I don't need to paint the front of it. Whoops. Give it another quarter turn here. The idea will be that we just you know, get rid of the plastic sheen. I don't know if that's the right word for it. And one more quarter turn. Now the back is, I think I probably already got the back, but just get some fresh paint here. Once When it starts to dry, oh, I think I put on more than I needed. There's a bubble in there. Well, that probably will evaporate to a certain extent. Mind you, this is the back. We're not going to see this anyway, because the uh, lens part is going to be facing out. Okay, now where's the other one? And a quarter turn. 
a lot of these uh, videos that uh, episodes that I've been doing lately are very tedious because well it, the work is tedious there's nothing nothing exciting about it at all Okay, we'll let that dry, and then we'll put some silver on the uh, uh, on the uh, on the light. And I think I'm going to try this uh, uh, Humbrol number eleven, which I haven't used for probably forty years. Now, if you'll remember, at the end of May, I did a video, and it was uh, something to the effect of my first ride in 17 years or something like that yeah I hadn't ridden a bike for 17 years and I was actually I was quite apprehensive as to how it was gonna go well it went I'm uh, I've got well over 900 kilometers on it now and I haven't fallen off it yet so uh, yeah now the uh, scooter did get delivered and uh, the deal was, if the weather was okay, uh, he was going to deliver it. If the weather was not okay, uh, he wasn't. Because as you can well imagine, being towed behind that uh, pickup truck in uh, rainy weather, <laughs> that scooter would be uh, pretty messed up. So anyway, uh, weather held, scooter's here. I was extremely impressed with the service I got from this outfit. Um... I was having coffee with my neighbor uh, a couple of days ago and I was telling him I'd probably get out there and find out that, yeah, there's the there's the sale price that it says on the internet, but, uh, you know, then there's the assembly charge, uh, pre-service charge, you know how it goes, <laughs> and it would end up being a lot more than what they said. But as it turned out, it, it was exactly what they said. And, uh... Uh, really good friendly service. I'm, I'm really impressed with these guys. Uh, when I buy my gold wing, uh, <laughs> I'll get one from them. <laughs> no, I won't be getting a gold wing. I just want one. <laughs> anyway, uh, yeah. So uh, I was wondering, uh, oh, w one of the things he did was he went through absolutely everything. Showed me how you, you know, the different positions of the key and what they did and all the rest of it and uh, you know how to check the oil and stuff some of the things that I basically knew already but he just wanted to make sure and uh, so we, he spent about five minutes I guess going through a checklist and then uh, uh, afterwards he was talking about how these scooters are very popular for thieves so hence I'm putting it inside the house. <laughs> yeah, I wanted to see uh, you know how much uh, harder it was to get in the house than the e-bike. And it is considerably heavier, but it's doable. Uh, and this was my first time and it, uh, I was kind of you know trying this and that as I was pushing it through the door and um, yeah, it, it, it was doable. So uh, that's where it's going to stay. It's going to get parked in the house somewhere. I think the e-bike is going to end up in the uh, Yamato room <laughs> and the the scooter will probably end up in the closet <laughs> where the e-bike was. At least that's the plan right now. We'll, we'll see what happens. Now one more thing here before we get back to the model table and that is that when I do go for my first ride I will uh, put on the uh, chest cam again. And, uh, yeah, I'll take you with me, and we'll see how it goes. I don't think I'll go to the extra work of putting on the, uh, uh, the other microphone and stuff like that. I can't really see a place that I can mount it. It's, uh, that, that might be a bit of a problem, but on the other hand, well, that, that's okay. Um, yeah, I'll put the chest cam on, and I'll take you with me. But that's probably not going to be in this episode, because i got to wait for the helmet to come. Okay, here's the latest. I was just thinking that uh, this number 11 here is almost the same as what we just put on. 
It's just that it's an an enamel. Um, yeah, it, it's not gonna it's not gonna show up, especially at arm's length. And uh, I'm thinking that either either something really dark or something really light. Now, I think being as that it's supposed to represent a lens and so on here, uh, we we may as well paint it something light. So I'm thinking I'm just going to use white. Uh, there may be something that I could use that's better than that, but I think I'm just going to use white on the front of it here. And in that way it'll sort of stand out when it's sitting on the ship. I, I think it'll look okay. It'll look better than than you know nothing at all. So, and it'll and I think it'll look better than if we were to use the eleven here. So, okay, let's do that. Okay. All right, that looks fairly uh, fairly solid to me. Just let me check the monitor. Yeah, I think I better quit while the quitting's good. Okay, what I've done here now is I've got some CA thick on the bottom of the railing. And my hope is that when I let go going to basically stay there. Um, so maybe should go in just a little bit more here. Maybe if I push it with this end. All right, let's let's just leave that, okay? I I think that'll that's not going to fall off. That's for sure. It won't fall off. All right, let's turn our ship around and uh, do the other one. This actually went not too bad. Okay, I was just about to place that and I thought I saw some dust on there. Don't fall over. I dropped it on the green cloth. Okay, I gotta try and grab hold of it again without breaking off our spotlight. Okay, let me check the monitor. That's going to have to do, folks. I think if I if I try to improve on it, I'm just going to end up making it worse. Our tins are basically empty. Finally. Okay, we get to turn the page. We are done, step 43. Except for maybe touching up a little bit. But that's got nothing to do with the page. Yeah, all the photo etch is on. Okay. Step 44. And it looks a lot like 43. More railings. A couple of ladders. Um... Uh, 
Oh, speaking of ladders, I, I still haven't figured out where this thing went. It, it came off of this side somewhere, I'm pretty sure. Um, I guess if I can't tell, we're not going to miss it, right? Um, anyway, let, let's uh, sort of recompose here and what time we got? Yeah, it's not even noon yet. Well, it will be in half a minute. Uh, I, I don't know if I want to actually get going here. I've been at it pretty good here this morning. And I'd like to get out on my uh, e-bike uh, this afternoon. It's it's cold outside. It's uh, it's only 20.4, so I'll be wearing maybe my heavy coat. <laughs> Let's see if my heavy coat fits underneath my yellow uh, safety jacket. Uh, anyway, we finally turned the page. Uh, thanks for watching, everybody. <laughs> And all being well, we're going to see you tomorrow. Oh, the sunrise. I'm going to put the sunrise on right, right after the end of today's episode, which will be in just a few seconds, actually. Uh, yeah, it's, it's much the same as, uh, uh, you know, the I did the time-lapse thing, and uh, the walkers came through, and it's, it's a little bit different, and it's the same music, so I don't blame you if you don't watch it. But if you want to watch it, go for it. Okay, see you tomorrow.